If I were to summarize the Kensei in one word, it would be accuracy. How do we utilize that accuracy to get a lot of power out of it? Today I'm going to be going through the features of the Kensei subclass for monks and talking about them from the perspective of an optimizer. Let's do this. So starting off, we have Kensei weapons. Kensei weapons is going to allow us to choose a melee weapon and a ranged weapon, which we're likely going to pick the longbow. These become monk weapons. So this allows us to have a D10 instead of a D8 as far as melee goes and a D8 instead of a D6 as far as our ranged weapon goes. So we just increase our damage by an average of one, just in general. Not bad. We also pick up more weapons as we progress and some of the weapons that initially don't start off great can end up being really powerful by the end of the game so whip we don't really want to use because it's doing a d4 of damage and we would rather be doing a d10 of damage but once we're hitting those tier three and later levels the whip starts becoming really awesome because it does comparable amounts of damage but now we have reach the next thing that path of the kensei gives us is agile parry so long as we have a kensei weapon in our hand on a turn where we in our attack action use a an unarmed attack we have plus two ac so this means we're reducing our damage let's say at level four from a d10 to a d4 of damage so it's a fairly significant decrease in damage, but we get plus two AC on top of it. A lot of people use this as what they build their Kensei around. I just don't feel like it's powerful enough to do a whole build around. It's a sacrifice you're making. You're not doing the damage you want to be doing, but you get a little bit more AC. Now that's not to say it's useless. It is useful because two AC is nice. It does make us a bit tankier, but I, I would rather situationally use it as opposed to having it be what I do inside and out. Next up is Kensei's shot. For a bonus action, we can add a D4 damage to any ranged attack we do this turn. This is something I would prefer to use over Agile Parry. Why? Because while we're not decreasing increasing our damage, we're increasing it. We go from an average of 4.5 damage to 7 damage per shot before we add our modifier. And the nice part about this, of course, is that it costs no key, so it's just a flat damage increase. Now there's a discussion whether or not we want to go a ranged Kensei or a melee Kensei. I strongly feel the ranged Kensei is the stronger of the two Kenseis. And it really begins here at third level. Instead of reducing our damage, we're increasing it. Instead of relying on our AC to be tanky, now we can rely on the fact that we're using a longbow to be tanky. We're just avoiding the direct combat. I think that's more effective anyways. Of course, this isn't to say you have to build a ranged Kensei do whatever you want. I just want to remind you that this is a video that I'm doing from the perspective of an optimizer. Next up is Wave the Brush. Wave the Brush is just a ribbon feature giving us proficiency in a tool. At level six, we get one with the blade. So the first thing this does for us is it makes our Kensei weapons deal magic damage. We haven't gotten a magic weapon at this point. That is just really nice for bypassing those resistances that we're going to run into all the time. Next up, we get Death Strike. For a key point, we add our martial arts die to the damage we deal with one of our Kensei weapon attacks. Now, originally, this wasn't that great. A very inefficient use of key, basically 4.5 damage for a key. But where this got really good is when monks got the optional feature key fueled attack. So now we can spend a key on our death strike to supply our key fueled attack to be able to get an extra attack as a bonus action. Most monks have to rely on their feature, the optional feature that allows them to add a key to their two hit to potentially make them hit. But in order to get that bonus action attack, it means you have to miss one of your original attacks. And hopefully by adding key to it, you can now hit. So Kensei bypasses all that. Kensei can either miss or hit and still get that bonus action attack. And that's really what we're going to be doing with our key. We want to get those bonus action attacks for our key point and then make the most out of them. And this is really where we begin to see why sharpshooter stands out as a very powerful feature for the Kensei is that we need our bonus action attack to be maximized. Again, we are specialists. That's what monks are. We want to specialize in that key fueled attack, make it as powerful as possible. And sharpshooter is a really good way to do it. And it's another reason the bow stands out because we're not going to be able to use great weapon master in melee. So we can't be a big ass weapon, but we can use sharpshooter. So our attack value also is higher as an archer than it would be up close. Next up at level 11 is probably our most powerful feature, sharpen the blade. The reason sharpen the blade gets a bad rap is that if we have a weapon that's already a plus one, plus two, or plus three, you know, any sort of plus, you cannot use sharpen the blade on it. However, I don't know about you guys, but even at level 11 in campaigns, we usually don't have a plus three weapon and this offers us a plus three weapon. So in my head, I'm thinking if I have a magic bow, I can use it day in and day out. Sure. But I'm keeping a second long bow that I can use sharpen the blade on. Now what sharpen the blade is going to do is we spend one to three key points and then it be changes it to a one, two, or three magic weapon, which is going to most importantly increase its accuracy, but also increase its damage as well. The thing about sharpshooter, we just got a plus three to our hit. Plus we have the monk's optional feature at level five that allows us to add key to our hit. So we become really, really accurate and our sharpshooter attacks are rarely going to miss. It's very powerful. Another thing to note about sharpen the blade is that if our magic bow doesn't have a plus one, plus two, or plus three, say it does bonus D6 of fire damage, then it still works with sharpen the blade. So we might want to pick up some alternative magic weapons as opposed to a plus one, plus two, or plus three, like we normally would. And finally at level 17, we get unerring accuracy. If we miss on our turn, we get to reroll the attack once per turn. So now we have this sharpshooter attack that is very likely to hit, has a plus three, plus our modifier, plus potentially adding key to the two hit. Plus, if we miss, we can now roll again for it. And then we get a bonus action attack on top of that. That's a lot of value. Every turn, we're going to be hitting those sharpshooter attacks and that damage is going to add up quick. And that's really where I think the Kensei shines the brightest. Now let's pretend for the sake of argument that you want to go for a melee Kensei. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do when you're getting into these fights is decide whether or not you want to hit with an unarmed attack to gain AC, or if you want to go for a bit more damage. I think more often than not, you're going to want the AC. That plus two AC is usually better than an average of like two damage, three damage. However, that's two or three damage every attack for every turn. 
this. It doesn't, it's not just one turn, it's every turn. And that can add up. So we are doing less damage than a monk normally does. And monks already don't do crazy good damage. Next up, we have our death strikes, but there's a good chance that instead of going for your key field attack, you're gonna want to go for flurry of blows. So that means our sixth level feature basically just gives us a magic weapon. It's really not doing much more for us than that. Sharpen the blade is still crazy good, but because we don't have a sharpshooter equivalent, we're not going to be doing nearly as much damage with our super accurate attacks. We'll be hitting all the time, but what we get out of those hits is just going to be less than. And finally, unerring accuracy, same thing. We're still gonna be hitting like a madman. We have great accuracy, but we're not getting those value out of that accuracy. But those are just my thoughts on the Kensei subclass. Let me know what your guys' are in the comments down below. But other than that, hope you have yourselves a freaking awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later!